just uh, talk to me, tell me your name and what you do. Okay, Fred Grubb, owner, founder of uh, Rocky Mountain Construction with my wife, Sue Ann. And what, so, do you, and what do you guys do at Rocky Mountain? We build roller coaster track. We, well, we do a design build for uh, the full coaster. So we build everything here at our shops. We also install it, so we do about everything for that that a roller coaster would take. We began uh, rebuilding traditional wood track and so we would go out and we would fix sections of traditional wood coasters. We would fix the track. In some cases we'd fix up the structure. Then we, you know, obviously uh, after doing this, learning uh, about the wood tracks, um, I figured there was a better way to do it. Um, so Alan Schilke and myself came up with the I-Box track and also the topper track. The topper track obviously is because of the wood coaster era so that we can stick with the traditional wood coaster track. The I-Box is an all steel track that we, uh, it, it, does, it isn't considered a wood coaster track, so we, we use both. It depends on what the client wants. Actually, we're pushing the boundaries. Um, we, we can do anything with this wood track that you can do with a steel roller coaster track. We are preserving the existing wooden coasters, uh, the old icons, by being able to go in, reprofile, put barrel rolls in them, uh, do any type of element on top of the existing footprints. So, such as the Colossus, uh, Cyclones, they, the old structure is preserved, it's still in use, but we put the new track on top of it. I've always, uh, I've always been an adrenaline junkie, so it's always been dirt bikes, snowmobile racing, uh, these types of things, a lot of water sports, uh, so, and it's always, uh, always on the cutting edge of things, so the roller coasters are exciting to me. And so I like to build them, I like to ride what's built, I like to listen to the people that ride them. Um, it's a big thrill. So it's, a, it's an adrenaline rush to me. It's like a drug, actually. <laughs> you don't need to put that in there, but. <laughs> but that's my drugs. <laughs> Certainly a legal drug, that's for sure. Well, oddly enough, uh, I first started out at Silverwood Theme Park as the maintenance director. Uh, the first corkscrew out there that Arrow built, uh, I used to work on it. So, and I used to maintain it. So, uh, we, I did a lot of, I had a lot of conversation with Arrow when they were still in business. Um, Arrow, as you know, once was the, the, in the top of the field in the roller coaster industry. Um, Alan Schilke, who first started with Arrow in the roller coaster industry, uh, obviously he's my partner in this. And, we, uh, you know, so we have a lot, we have a lot in common, actually. So, um, a lot of what Alan has learned through the years, uh, we've taken it a step further and carried on with it. And it, it's, a lot of us probably come from Arrow, you know, his previous years at Arrow. Arrow is famous for tubular steel. Mm -hmm. They started with the Matterhorn and they really pioneered a new way of having fun. Mm -hmm. You guys are now on that cutting edge. Yeah. You're talking about going back to flat steel, right. which Arrow ran into so many problems with before. Mm -hmm. How did you solve the problem? Well, I think the, uh, the, the way we solved the problem is we put our heads together. Um, obviously, I've got a great team here. We put our heads together, and the first track that we made, we had a lot of trouble with. Uh, we spent four months building track and not knowing if we could even do it. Uh, we, we, after about four months, everything started to click and we found out we could do it. And then as we have uh, produced track, we've, uh, we've actually, I don't know how to say it, we've a lot of secrets. We found out a lot of things that we can do. And so we just worked really hard at producing this flat square track. And there's, you know, there's several benefits to it. Um, and 
in the methods in which we use. You know, there's benefits to it, and, and uh, plus the idea was to recreate the profile of the existing wood track. So when we first started the, the square track, the idea was that we were going to go out and just put sections in existing wooden coasters. Well, uh, we hardly even have time to do that because uh, we've, we, you know, since figured out that we could use it for any type of coaster. What inspires you to keep going? I mean, Jake was telling us that he sometimes works 60, 90 hours a week. What inspires um, you to keep going? I think it's the new, the new technology that we're always coming up with. We've got new developments coming out, new uh, new tracks, it, it's all exciting. Um, the tools that we have to build to splice the track, those types of things, it's, you always have to be innovative. And you, you have to make your own tools, there's no tools for this. Uh, you've got to develop different product, it's, there's n something new every day. It's exciting and it, it is exciting to be on the top of the heap in the roller coaster industry. I can't, you know, it, it just is. So it's, you know, not that we'll always be there, but we hope to. Speaking of that, Arrow was on the top of the heap. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they ended up not being, you know, at well, the top of the heap? I, and I, you know, I don't know for a fact, but in some aspects, I think that if you try to do too much at one time, that it can hurt. And so we have elected, even though we could do twice as much, we could sell twice as much work, I'm not sure we could do twice as much effectively and keep the quality up there. So I think that can be a, a detriment to any business. And so in, in any field, not only this field, but especially in this field. So you're, you sort of recognize that you've seen what has happened in the past in this industry, and you're sort of taking it now and saying, okay, applying it to here, how can we make sure that doesn't happen to us? Right, right. And I, to be honest, I'm not the best at that. I have, uh, I have a team. I have a wife that, that says, uh, "Don't do it. We got to stop. We got to stop." Because I'm the guy that would do, try to do everything, and uh, you just can't do it. And so they recognize that better than I do, more so than what I do. You know. So, uh, it, it, like I said, it takes a team because they do recognize that fact, and and I don't sometimes. <laughs> so I, I would just keep going and going and going, you know, but that's not always good, you know, but I think that can be detrimental to any business. I, I feel pretty fortunate to be able to do this. I feel really lucky, really fortunate. Um, we're, I'm very proud of what we've done here as well as I think our whole team is. Um, the the big thing is it's it's not my, me myself Alan it's just not two individuals there's a whole team that make this work and I guess where we have excelled is we've put together an excellent team to be able to pioneer this uh, this type of track and these new methods and it's a new method in the industry and as you know we're starting to put this on uh, other steel roller coaster structures for other people. It's just, it's a great track. It's, I, we're very proud of what we've done. Makes me feel great, actually. <laughs> okay. What, yeah. uh, going back just to, to Arrow for a second, because that's what the film's mm -hmm. about. Sure, sure. What do you think is the ultimate legacy of Arrow? Is it tubular steel? Is it, you know, reasonably priced rides? What do you think that legacy is? I think that they were able to put out reasonably priced rides uh, with innovative tubular steel track. Uh, doing the things that they did in that era is, you know, it was cutting edge. And so that's their legacy, I think. They just had cutting edge, uh, they pushed the envelope and they were able to do it. 